What are some YouTube channels that made you go, damn, I can watch this all day, and learn a lot as well. Salmonella Academy. His videos discuss very niche moments slash people in history that I would have never know about otherwise. It's interesting to learn historical facts that have fallen into obscurity over time. I also find his dry and subtle sense of humor so amusing. Terror. Did you eat? A fucking B.A.B.Y. Police. Is that fucking fish Jenga? Say, you're not so bad kid. How's about we ditch this musty old mausoleum and go back to my place, Hey, Guys, it's okay. I'm actually a hedgehog. I used to do this with Sishao. Just have it on all weekend while I played games. Sishao is my go to brush my teeth wash my face channel. Video length is just right. 3 blue 1 brown. His voice and animations are really good. Agreed. Plus his concepts require you to focus to understand, so it's not like you can put it on and tune out. You're genuinely learning something. I actually listen to them to fall asleep. I'm not getting any of the content that way, but his voice is just so damn soothing. Is there a way to play only one video so as to not be woken up when the next video starts? Company Mangreet insight and information on the history of companies. How they got so big. Why they failed. Etc. Great format and presentation. Happened to see his first video the day it was released 3 plus years ago and haven't missed one since. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Don't know what it is about him. But his voice and delivery just keep me glued to his videos. Sometimes his voice and delivery great on me though. Especially his bits, where he's being funny and off book, he doesn't modulate his tone enough for it to be clearly distinguished. That's a minor thing though. Still entertaining and an excellent channel. I have binged him a lot. Townsend's. It's 18th century recipe cooking videos. I very cynically was making fun of this channel when it first popped up on my YouTube because it looked very goofy. But after about 3 minutes of watching, I couldn't help but be incredibly charmed. He's one of my few Patreons now. I'm glad you came around. He's just a guy who genuinely loves his subject matter and managed to seek out a living teaching others about it. I would be shocked to find that teachers are not using his videos as curriculum. It's just too ripe for ITV. Bon Appetit. I love the different segments they do. It's Alive with Brad is hilarious and Pastry Chef Attempts is also great. Best bits are the Brad subtitles. Water. A. Vin. I miss Vinny. Quick edit. For fans of the show Vinny works on the binging with Babish channel now. Which is another fantastic food channel. I think the editor is Matt Hunzi. Hostel with Bay. Yeah. Vinny was just the camera guy. Oversimplified. It is a fun and easy method to learn history. This angered his father who punished him severely. Dude. Uncool. Who no oh. There's a tax for that. Steve1989 Marine Foe I never knew I was so interested in military rations from around the world until I stumbled into this channel. Pretty educational. Entertaining. And the host has a very Bob Ross-esque soothing quality to his voice. Steve is one of those guys that's just universally palatable. I don't think it would matter what his videos were about. I'd just automatically take interest in whatever he was going on about. In this case it's Mrez. Nice hiss. Primitive technology. Totally fascinating channel. I really enjoy how chill his vids are. No talking. Just the jungle ambience. Yeah. I only realized recently that their subtitles on the videos where he explains what's going on. What? Lockpicking Gloria is actually one of the better ones. Short and quick to the point of the video. Not even stretched to 10 minutes for midral ads. Informative. Downright essential for knowing just how unsafe your locks are and allows you to laugh at the horribly designed locks that he picks with ease. Such a valuable tool to a society that manufactures everything to a price point rather than a security point. Some cheap things are fairly secure, some are just asking to be burgled. To be fair though, that guy can make a very secure lock look like a child's toy. 
To be fair though, that guy can make a very secure lock look like a child's toy. If I remember correctly, I saw in another thread that some other expert lock pikers believe that LPL is some sort of prodigy due to how easily he can get through almost any lock. Yeah has one of a kind. Prodigy lock picking plus asthma rolled into one. Wendover Productions. Airplane fetish intensifies. Toyota wants to know your location. That's real life lore. Fact fiend by Carol Smallwood. That show with Carlton Apinas. Maybe he is vampire. I love the English Heritage Channel. Especially their Victorian Way series. It reenacts life in a huge manner in the 1800s. Complete with characters. Based on real people and even a cooking show. Mrs. Crockham is hardcore. Mrs. Crockham is a queen of shade. Liminal link. Yahtube. Com slash user slash top 10 mens. And, it's okay to be smart link. Yahtube. Com slash user slash it's okay to be smart. Finally. Somebody said Limino. They let us know. Tom Scott. It saddens me Tom is all the way down here. Curse just sagged. Cute animations and the narrator's voice is pleasing to hear. German duck intensifies. Dyson sphere bitch. Whale cancer has left the chat. Egg has entered the chat. Ask a mortician. Yay fellow deathlings. I love her channel. And got her books as well. Caitlin is awesome. Technology connections is great at digging into seemingly mundane aspects of the technology that surrounds us and somehow making it interesting. He recently did a video on the color brown and how it's represented in light. No really. It's interesting. I like Antonella and Sarah for digging into strange and obscure bits of history in an entertaining way too. I'm amazed I had to scroll this far down to see technology connections. The most recent video is about how an old 60s Jukebox picked a record from the carousel and played it. Without any electronics at all. Just motors, levers, gears, and a few switches. Insanely cool and in detail. Number file. Computer file. Veritasium. Source. I'm terrible at math or maths and I've watched every number file. The theory they delve into is just fascinating all around. They're unbelievably good at taking complex topics and distilling them to common language. The video with Tony Padilla and Tree, Free, is legit the only time I've ever seen anyone actually manage to explain WTF. That thing is in a way that was easy to understand. The Great War. The Sailing Frenchman. Tom Scott. Aviation 101. Crash Course. Alex Steele and the Royal Institution, particularly Andrew Sidlow, who is delightful and burns everything. Great War with Indy has been my jam the last few weeks. Alex Steele is such a lovable doofus. Indy and the team did such a good job on the Great War, it's so easy to go back to again and again. Alex Steele is in fact a lovable doofus, and is also supremely talented at the same time. He makes some incredible stuff. And some incredible videos. I don't know how he manages to get so much personality in there. You slash flabota we love y'all. Best documentary series ever made. Chris fix if you are into DIY how to fix cars and savages for car reviews. Hey guys. Chris fix here. And today. Exclamation mark. Tears do. That's a really good one. I binged all their videos the day I found them. Overless Arcastic Productions. Red and Blue are amazing when it comes to plot tropes, ancient history and legends and lore. Their Arthur video is one of my favorites. Carrot Ninjas. Smarter Every Day. The creator, Destin Sandlin, is a editor. Shout out to slash you slash mrpinny whistle. Well thanks. PBS Space Time. PBS Infinite Series. Number File. Love PBS Ian's too. Source. Definitely. Michael is incredibly enjoyable to listen to and the videos are absolutely fascinating. He makes really complex scientific concepts fairly easy to understand. And they can really blow your mind. Have you checked out his second channel ding? He posts more frequently on there but non-science related. It is forever done fuck YouTube. Do online now guys. Thatchupter. 
if you're into true crime slash cold cases and the odd strange happenings. Watching today's video right now, it's a sad one. That poor girl. Oh my god, I know, just that she lived so long, after being burned so badly, hard to even think about, and I'm a pretty hard and true crime vet. Ants Canada. Lol back in 2016 slash 2017 me and some of my friends loved watching his vids, because we'd crack up every time he talked about the brood. Educational videos without a doubt, but that shit was straight comedy to us as well. Binging with Babish. Gip Grey and the Braddy Heron fleet of channels. CGP Grey looks great, we'll check out the other ones. If you don't know who Braddy Heron is, his channels include, number file, objectivity, periodic videos, deep sky videos, 60 symbols, computer file, and probably more. I remember one time on their podcast Hello Internet where they discussed if Braddy could have the record for being the single guy with the biggest amount of Yatub awards. That was when I realized how many freaking channels that guy has. Mentalfus or Crash Course. Literally anything by John Green edit. Forgot to mention his brother Hank. Wait. The John Green. Like the award winning coming of age novelist John Green. I used to love him and all these years later still have a lot of his books on my shelf. Yes. It's that John Green and his brother Hank. You could check out their vlog to those videos as well. There are multiple podcasts as well. If you are more drawn to John's writing. Ed suggest the Anthropocene reviewed. Ah thank you so much, it'll definitely check those out. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.